Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to navigate your design using the navigation features that comes with the system bar. And this will be for TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates otherwise we're back in the program here now a quick reminder this is a mini series on the system bar and i'll also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along now when it comes to navigating with the system bar it's uh personally not my preference or my favorite way of doing it there is however a few options under the navigation that i like to use so now the navigation buttons starts with this magnifying glass button and it ends with another magnifying glass button so all of these ones are used for some form of navigation so first of all we've got the move so this will in um basically bring the move hand or the move tool so you can simply move around but like i said it's a bit buggy for me in this program as you can see if i move it it's actually moved already. If I just move a bit, then it'll only flip it there to what I've done. So um, it's not my favorite method. Then next up here on the list, we've got the zoom in. That uh, if you click this, you'll see it zooms in for us. But um, normally, with most programs, if you keep control or shift or alter one of those keys, then you can zoom out. But you see it's not the same with um, over here. So that's why I say it's not quite my preference to navigate the design area using these buttons to me it feels a bit uh it's not too intuitive so i prefer using my mouse middle button for panning and the mouse wheel for zooming in and out seeing that it is relevant to my mouse cursor then once i do use however is the show page which is this one with a little um uh, file icon within the magnifying glass if i've zoomed in and i want to go back and reset the design like so i can see the whole thing i just click show page and it will automatically do that for me then the next one is i'm um, grayed out at the moment because we've got nothing selected it says view data which um basically if you select something and you click that then it will center that and scale it to fit within your design area same way if i had to select this border as well then i click that you'll see it readjusted which is also quite a nice feature to use then we've got view all so um yeah you can like let's say i put a little cube here at the bottom then i'm gonna leave just view to select it and then i click view all and then it's going to show everything with in the design area so obviously the closer this is and i go view all it's going to start um, narrowing down our design so that's also not a bad one if you're working on the overall um, graphics only and then next up here we've got show selected which i would imagine it will be the same as view data but this is actually you'll see um if you you can now if you left click with your mouse and drag you can make a selection box so you can kind of view only what is within the selection as you can see i can zoom in more and more so that is view um, selected but like i say in my personal opinion i don't often use these first three as they're a bit counterproductive but uh, in my opinion like i say <laughs> and then but the last four i like to use otherwise yeah that is it on um the navigating with the system bar we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video. Then we will make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers. Yeah.